Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be a reading for Gemini for the month of November. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could play out at any point in time, whenever you're guided to read it throughout the month of November. Um, and also keep in mind that characters can be swapped around. So I could be speaking directly to you, Gemini, or I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. So please take it how it resonates and don't fit yourself into a reading that's not meant for you. If you haven't yet, do feel free to hit that subscribe button below to join the channel to never miss an energy reading. And let's jump right in, Gemini, and see what needs to come through for you for the month of November. Fox, you might have to be a little bit shrewd, especially when it comes to some business aspects, some resourcefulness when it is stemming around a business opportunity and I do believe you have a lot of spiritual guidance around you Gemini and you are protected from harm but you are going to need to be shrewd when it comes to some business decisions because you might have a ram in the mix an ass a ram a stubborn aggressive person um and I do feel they're not going to be successful, um, this stubborn, aggressive person, because you do have a lot of spiritual guidance and protection around you. So a lot of angelic protection around you, Gemini. Um, what else? There we go. Karma. Somebody here is about to reap what they have sown. So if you've been putting good out there into the universe, Gemini, get ready to be rewarded. Um, and if somebody has been messing with you, they're about to reap their karma. And I do believe this might be stemming around some family matters. And maybe somebody's getting the boot. I kind of feel... Um, you are close to achieving your goals, but I do think somebody kind of needs to get the boot. And maybe you've been really indecisive about closing out a cycle and you can't keep letting your life aimlessly ra ramble um, in this never-ending cycle because maybe it's time to close out a family foundation that's no longer working. Maybe um, you're dealing with a very aggressive and stubborn person um, and you're gonna have to be shrewd. I think maybe be careful. Somebody here might have too many concerns with sexual matters and with all this scorpionic energy in November. I do think it's bringing out a lot of repressed sexual passion to the surface. So you might have a, an admirer behind the scenes is what's coming through. Maybe a sexual attraction to somebody. But I think somebody kind of needs to get the boot out of your life first before you can bring something together. And you're really needing to listen to the guidance from your angels and your higher self because I think there is going to be something coming up with some with some aggression when it comes to this ram you could be dealing with an Aries um that's Aries energy but there's something about some foxes in the den so be aware of that Gemini okay let's dig in with the spiritual journey oracle deck and see what else needs to come through for you Gemini for the month of November. What else does Gemini need to be aware of when it comes to this message? Seahorse, it's feeling like luck is kind of on your side. So I don't think you have anything to worry about when it comes to undoing the karmic knot. Um, whatever this stubborn person is trying to pull, I don't think they're going to have any success. So we'll see what else comes through. Self-actualization. I forget who else got that. And Aries, I think I think Aries might have got self-actualization. So you very well could be dealing with an Aries. If you did if you didn't check out Aries, maybe there's a message in there for you. But Gemini, you are definitely on the road to achieving your full potential. Um, especially when it comes to some business matters and foundations. So Whatever is happening in the month of November, it really is here to kind of help you understand your core strengths and how to use them for your advantage because there's some divine orchestration at play in your life in the month of November. If something's not quite unfolding according to your expectations, the divine is orchestrating something behind the scenes that's going to have a more long-term meaningful result when it comes to your path moving forward. So healing light, step into that healing light, Gemini, get your chakras balanced to allow that energy to flow and pay attention to your dreams. 
Wow, heightened awareness. This is feeling really good and spend time alone. So it's time to tune it up, tune up your chakras, maximize that energy flow throughout the pathways in order to restore um, this very positive overall well-being in your life. And imagine yourself stepping into this healing light. The angels and the guides are protecting you, enveloping you in, pr in protection, love, and compassion as you go through a major circumstance to release any unwanted thoughts or any unwanted people, places, or things in your life that are needing to melt away. So... Some quiet introspection is likely going to be needed. You're really needing to disconnect and relax and to, you know, manifest these, these dreams coming true. And I think you are also encouraged to um, keep a dream journal because there are messages coming through in dream space. And I think your, your awareness is quite heightened. You're likely very in tune with your intuition and, and the senses and the energies coming in. And I think you likely have already known something's been shifting below the surface. And you're right about that. So let's see what needs to come through with the Psychic Tarot today for you for the month of November. What else does Gemini need to be aware of when it comes to this message? Passion being reignited. <laughs> it is feeling very um, sexual, um, very passionate. And I feel this energy of something coming full circle. So if you've been losing hope, I think don't lose hope just yet, Gemini, because there's healing light at the end of this tunnel. So brand new beginning, creative spark. Um, that's the Ace of Wands. So let's keep going and see what needs to come through with the Energy Oracle deck. I just feel this flame within you, this rising of this beautiful creative feminine energy coming to the surface. And I don't think this Aries Ram or... This very aggressive energy is going to be able to stop you when it comes to stepping into what it is that you're trying to manifest, what it is that you're trying to dream into your life. So let's see what else needs to come through with the Energy Oracle deck. If you've been feeling stuck in a situation, you're breaking free. That all tied up want to flip out in reverse. So... Uh, you're breaking free from an old mindset, from a negative situation. You're like stepping into this freedom energy, I feel. Yeah, heart healing is likely going to be in focus. Open up your heart. You are stepping into self-value, self-actualization, self-worth. You are the magician of your life. This is feeling really, really nice. So, yeah, spend time alone to receive those visions, those messages. So you might be dealing with some third eye expansion in the month of November. And this is going to allow you to see the pathway forward to strategize an ending. I do feel you're closing out a cycle and you're really needing to keep a journal log when it comes to this energy. You are breaking free um, from something and maybe it hurts. Um, you know, we still have to heal when we close out a cycle with a toxic relationship. Um, sometimes it hurts even more because you really have to dive deep into some self-forgiveness. So I do think you're, you're coming to an ending. I do think it's going to hurt. I do think it's going to create like a heart chakra expansion, a heart chakra awakening to get you to step, to get you to step into the self-actualization, to get you to step in to your fullest potential. This is always my empress energy. So, and break Breaking down to a six is that Jesus consciousness. So beautiful energy. Okay, so let's keep going and see what the influencing energies are when it comes to this message, Gemini. What else does Gemini need to be aware of when it comes to this message for the month of November? I do think it's going to hurt. Um, and you do have the Ascended Masters with you at this time as you step into, you know, being this, this loving woman. My decks are all messed up today, but uh, stay optimistic. Stay optimistic. This is a brand new level of consciousness. This is about removing the mask, stepping into authenticity, stepping into this self actualization of really knowing who your true friends and colleagues are and you are letting something go if you've been struggling um i feel like this this cycle closing out is winding down in order for a firm foundation to be built there is a new doorway opening up so be willing to release anybody that isn't offering truth authenticity and loyalty in your life and and allow that to leave your life so there is going to be a decrease 
Um, you might have some fear stemming around this, but you do. You have all of these ascended masters kind of working with you, giving you all of the tools that you need to see the pathway forward. And you're, you are, you're setting that intention for peace in your life. It is a crossroads. It's a two. And you want unconditional love. You want a lifetime partnership that is going to be equal and balanced, peaceful, and another energy of heart. So I do feel opening your heart to unconditional love and calling in loyalty. And there is a major shift taking place below the surface when it comes to releasing people that have been wearing masks and stepping into this new level of consciousness. So let's see what else needs to come through um, with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. We'll see what you are evaluating, but authenticity is in key. Compassion... Um, Compassion is going to be needed, I feel. Come to the edge by the book. So take that leap of faith. I do feel closing out maybe a long-standing committed partnership, and it has to be done by the book before stepping into this new experience. So don't be tempted by too much sexual passion, too much matters of sex, okay? Um, close this cycle out first, and I do think you're dealing with a very aggressive person. You are needing to take some action, okay, Gemini? We have the Yang, which is the masculine principle, and you are needing to kind of... <laughs> Be flexible <laughs> when when it's coming to these energies. So we get mending. So healing. Yeah, this is about it's about home. No place like home. And there's no place like home, like feeling at home within our own self and coming into this, you know, bigger bigger awareness and bigger truth that we have for who we are. So yeah, you're gonna need to be flexible. There's without a doubt a change in the wind. I think things are gonna change very, very quickly, and this is stemming around to home, I feel. So there is somebody here getting ready to take some action. And um, healing is required. This is about healing family structures. I feel stepping into some mystic energy is what's coming through. And you're really needing to take action um, when it comes to a, a business opportunity, I do feel. There's business mixed in the mix here. So let's get let's get some energies um, when it comes to your person. But yeah, no place like home. You're, I feel you're leaving one home, coming to the edge taking that leap of faith, trusting in the faded guidance that it's time to go. I think you fear that it's going to create some conflict, and it likely will, um, but you're seeking, you're seeking that home life. Like, you really want to feel at home, not only in your own self, you know, actualization, but within a partnership. And I do feel a new spark when it comes to a relationship. I think you're tired of being a slave to um, society and the status quo. So let's see what needs to come through for your person, Gemini. Ooh, the fool. There is going to be a new, a new uh, start in love, I think, with the servant. Your person maybe has been manipulating the energies and using a lack of money as an excuse to not be able to move forward. I do feel your person is like, um, with the servant and the engineer, I do feel your person really is, he doesn't have a lot of regard, he or she doesn't have a lot of regard for emotional consequences, and they are stubborn, and they're not going to change. They're very aggressive, so do protect your energy when it comes to that. I feel... Um, you're really kind of stepping into service um, from a loving heart center and you want to be free when it comes to love and you've been feeling really trapped break, and you are breaking free and there is going to be a reset here. I do feel you're liberating yourself and your person has denied this emotional truth. I think you're both likely very dissatisfied and there's going to be a lot revealed in the energies in the month of November stemming around some fear. And I think somebody here fears humility, maybe hypocrisy, and there is going to be an explosion. I feel a very aggressive outburst um, when it comes to some destruction. I feel intoxication. You might be dealing with somebody that might get a little too intoxicated and embrace their destructive side. Um, you might you might want to get ready for an argument. I'm not sure, but this this destroying energy is coming in to prepare you for this new life. So. Whatever is being destroyed in the energy or whatever destructive qualities are coming up to be released, it is to clear the pathway for a new beginning, for a new life that you are stepping into. So let's see what needs to come through for you, Gemini. What energies are surrounding Gemini? 
I think there's gossip surrounding this. I do think you might have a secret admirer or somebody behind the scenes that, um, that you really want to have a romantic uh, connection with. But um, you feel like your your allegiance is to a toxic situation, maybe. Um, and I feel you need to be aware of romantic delusions, too. Um, I think they're, <laughs> they get ready for some gossip. Um, you know, it speaks for itself. And maybe this gossip is, is put in place to awaken your person of the consideration for feelings of others. And I think you need to honor the trust in your higher self at this point in time. Because um, you're dealing with somebody that thrives on power. And maybe you need to be prepared for your confidences to be betrayed. So, you know, I, I always say, like, be careful who you open up to. Not everybody is your friend. Because I do feel you're kind of connected with some emotional vampires that you need to be aware of. Um, there's people in and around you, Gemini, that have been depleting your energies for psychic survival, psychic vampires. So pay attention to that. Um because that might lead to some chronic health issues. Um, it's like people are very codependent on you, trying to cord to you. So cut those cords. I think the energy in November is really going to bring that into your awareness of exactly who has been draining your life force energy. So you can balance these scales. I think be prepared for your person to get very aggressive. Might even resort to some violent outbursts. So... Stay grounded, stay balanced, because justice is going to be served when it comes to this situation, because you truly are an eternal child of, of God, and I do feel this is about, you know, a solid, committed partnership, a companion that is going to feel like home, offer you unconditional love, unselfishness, tenacity, loyalty, and I do feel where you've been at, you've been betrayed, and it really has maybe created a great loss of personal identity. So you are reminded that you are an eternal child of light and it's time to release any fears about physical security so you can cut any ties with codependent people because I think you really are stepping into this union of mind, body, and soul and you really are going to have this ability to see things with fresh eyes in the month of November is kind of what's coming through. So let's dig a little bit deeper with the tarot and see what else needs to come through for your person today for the month of November. What else can you tell me about Gemini's person? Um, I don't know if I just said Libra, but that's what's in my head. So if I said Libra, I apologize. You might be dealing with a Libra, but that's a symbol of balance. There is there is some trickery here. There is somebody, I feel, going to have an emotional outburst. The King of Wands just flipped out and reversed, and that's that Aries Leo Sag. So you are going to be dealing with some aggression. I think um, somebody's very dissatisfied, very angry. Um, I do feel secrets and lies are coming to the surface. And this has been a very long-standing burden that is needing to be released um, in order for this new creative endeavor, this new business venture. Um, there's new energy. Um, there's going to be a message coming through. There is going to be victory here. So let's dig into your energy, um, Gemini. Aries Leo Sag. So your person has, has has a lot of strong fire energy attached to them. So your energy, there's going to be a profit and a loss. There is going to be a decrease before this increase. You're going to have to release something. There is an alignment coming and I do kind of feel like it's stemming around the moon cycles because we got the moon. We also got the two of pentacles in reverse, the emperor. So that's a father figure. That's a you know, the man of the house, and there is betrayal here. There is an ending stemming around the moon cycle. So what was hidden, I feel, is coming to light. And with all of this scorpionic energy, truths are coming to the surface, um, betrayals, backstabbing, gossip. Get prepared for that final nail in the coffin when it comes to closing out a cycle. I feel with an Aries. Um, it's really coming through strong. It doesn't have to be, but I do feel strong Aries energy. Um, you might want to defend yourself. There are secrets here. I feel a masculine that is allowing his ego to rule the show, his shadow to rule the show. And I think you likely might have put a lot of work into a committed partnership, a commitment here that's closing out. It is the final straw, the final ending. And there is going to be like 
very heated discussion with the Knight of Swords in order to close out a long-standing cycle. I think get ready to go out and celebrate, though. This is what you prayed for. This is what you've asked for. And it's time to kind of heal a false sense of security. I do feel you've been trapped. You've been stuck in, in indecision. You've really not wanted to take the blindfold off to accept an ending. And it's time to go deep within that heart chakra healing. It's time to heal go into meditation to bring the self-actualization to the surface so you really can step into using your core strengths to your advantage to build the foundation that you truly are seeking because you want to feel like you're at home and I don't think this feels like home for you, Gemini. So, you know, what is it that you want to put the work into, Virgo? Because I do think a lot of doorways are opening. I do think you have a lot of options here that you're needing to consider when it comes to where you want to bring that brand new Ace of Pentacles beginning to because it is going to lead to a solid foundation after a period of deep rest and healing so many many options take a step back journal about the energy so you can have that clarity of thought and get ready for a major ending i don't think i need to pull any clarifiers it's feeling pretty straightforward to me you're closing out a major cycle you're learning a major major lesson here and something in between the moon cycles. And we are entering eclipse season. So get ready for things to be eclipsed out that really have been like a very heavy burden on both of you when it comes to breaking free and stepping into new experience. Because I think you want to have fun again and you fear breaking free. But yeah, another convert. Somebody's moving. Packing their bags and moving. Get rid of this victim mentality, Gemini. Because you are destined for so much more. You are destined for peace. So lean into the energies of the Ascended Masters as you step into the ability to see things with fresh eyes. There's a lot of expansion. Expand your consciousness and manifest your freaking masterpiece, okay? Stop staying stuck. Um, this, is, this is the month of releasing and transformation, so you are going to really need to take care of your heart, Gemini. Take care of your heart. It's time to feel all of those feels. I don't think you have to have it all figured out before you take that step in that first direction, in the new direction. I think you have been working hard. You've been working hard on trying to hold it all together while closing out a cycle, all while hurting on the inside. And it really is time for you to get into your safe zone, your sacred space, and to hold your heart in your own hands in order for you to step into fully honoring that you are a sentient spiritual being. So love deeply, go into that healing energy because you are opening up to your deep connection to spirit. And that is how we manifest our masterpiece. So I think dream big. Things are about to shift for the better. Set those clear intentions and use this time really wisely to get on the grind and start creating the tomorrow of your dreams because you are in, in a period of expansion. And it's time for you to speak clearly, honestly, and from the heart in order to get to where you need to go. And I think you are a conduit for messages from the spirit world. And you are here to bring that forward into the collective as a channel of communication from the spirit realm. So go into that ability to translate and inspire others in written or spoken word because this is going to be a huge um, recharging month for you when it comes to taking back your power. So that's what I have for you, Gemini, for the month of November. Wow. Um, I hope that resonated. I don't think that's going to be for everybody. Um, if it did resonate and you would like to go further and book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. There you will find my email contact um, to reach out to book a reading. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.